what's going on? This is Al LeBron, aka Bully the Kid. And today I'm doing a little bit of an unboxing. I've had this uh, package from a friend of the uh, channel via Low End Lobster. Sell me a base and I have no idea what it is. So we're gonna actually check this bad boy out together. Here's that intro. Okay, I do enjoy a good unboxing. Uh, I'll see if I can do this without cutting the heck out of myself. So far, so good. Cut away from myself. Do not cut myself. All right. Okay. Okay. What do we, what do we got? Well, what is what is this? This is a pretty old looking case. Let's see what we got. Oh, is this a GNL? This is a GNL. Well, okay. All right. Let's put this up. And let's, uh, let's take a look see. All right. Passive system. Maple. Pretty solid. Very nice. Very nice. Have no idea what these are gonna do, so we're gonna find that out. Three-way switch. Feels good. Brand new strings, that's nice. This should be fun. Happy holidays, y'all. <laughs> This is a GNL L1000 base. Those that know GNL, you know exactly what this was when I pulled it out. Uh, <sighs> CLF Research, Fullerton, California. Uh, six bolts on the back of the neck, very solid, very solid. High mass bridge, very solid indeed. I think there's gonna be some type of special coil tapping that's gonna be happening with this pickup. Uh, neck itself is lacquered on the back as well as the front. Uh, plate has three knobs on it and a three-way switch. So I'm assuming some type of maybe a base in treble cut with a volume and then like a pickup loading type of deal. First guess. Uh, it's not string through body, it is string through bridge. Strings are very new. Truss rod adjustment is up top. Uh, like a traditional fender, pretty much. Uh, hardware is very solid. It's pretty well balanced, actually. I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, poundage probably coming in around eight and a half, nine pounds. So it's solid. It's just not a boat anchor, like, you know, you would think. I think this is a full scale. It feels pretty full scale to me, maybe. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. But it uh, feels pretty good. And uh, we'll tune this bad boy up and give her a go. So let's get into that. All right, we're tuned up, ready to go. Uh, I did a little bit of research looking around trying to understand what the heck I'm looking at with this control plate and all this control system. So what I found out was uh, this is indeed a passive system. So it all works in cuts by, I assume, a series of capacitors. That's what I would assume. So there is a uh, bass and a volume cut. I don't know which one is which yet. I haven't messed with it. And this three-way switch ends up being parallel series and series bass boosted, 
for whatever reason it is. And I think it's parallel up middle is series and then the bottom is bass booster. We're going to find out in a second. But yeah, let's let's uh, let's give her a listen. Right now, I have everything completely cut out of it and I'm going to go into parallel. So it should be a little bit brighter, should be a little bit more snappy, but we'll see. Okay, this is the middle position now. Okay, here is the bottom position. Let's uh <clears throat> let's go with whatever this knob is. I have no idea. Let's go ahead and turn that all the way up and see what we got. Start over at the top position. So we're gonna check out the uh, back position right now. And we've turned both knobs all the way up. I'll cut the first knob in just a second. I just kinda wanna see what it has in it, you know? So we're back on the uh, top position, which is parallel. Let's go to the bottom position. It should be series, much of the same, but with a bass boost.
I think that's my favorite setting. <laughs> Let's give it a fair go, though. Let's go back up to the top. That's the middle position. That sounds pretty good. This, okay, I could do this all day. Uh, this is a very nice bass, and it's very simple. I could dial it in real quick. I think my favorite one is the Series Boost. Uh, take out a little bit of trouble, all the bass. I feel like that's the most usable for me. Sounds the most kind of like a P bass in my head. So yeah, for like thumping and grooving and just rocking, just. I can go on that all day. Just hold down a pocket and groove heavy. I like that setting. That setting right there, I think is my favorite one uh, in this whole thing. But I'm definitely gonna be doing some grooves with this bad boy coming in the future. And uh, Lobster, bear with me. I'll be holding on to it for maybe a week or two. <laughs> so I'll uh, send this bad boy back to you whenever I am done with it. Ah, the craftsmanship is really nice. I really like the inlays. It's got like an abalone type of deal going on in there. And uh, look, it just it just looks good, man. It just looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. It's, it's nice. I would definitely pick up one of these if I had the opportunity. 
or when I have the opportunity, you know. Uh, one thing that I don't really like about it is the fact that it's a lacquer neck and I have sweaty palms. So it doesn't get stuck, but I'm aware of how sweaty my palms are. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, that would take a little while for me to get past, but it feels good in the hand. Like it feels good, it plays very well. I got lost in playing it and got the juice flowing and all that good stuff. But yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the bass. If you had a, a favorite setting um, that I did, let me know in the comments. Till then, I've been Alan Brown, aka Bullet Kid. Y'all be easy.